Hello, Miss Leo July. Sorry it took me a while to get back to you. My question was part of a series I was going to do, but I didn't really know how to formulate it, nor where to start. And I basically wanted to discuss the black family and how can we sit back and start. But I like this one little video you did. I think this is probably one of your best YouTube where you talked about the young black man who wants to be dead. And this is an issue that a lot of young black males face. Now, what do I mean by this? I'm not talking about the thug. I'm just talking about the educated black male because he's not getting the girls and he's being overlooked by the black female and he may not have high standards give me a second check in my notes he may not have high standards he may not want her to have a college diploma or masters doesn't matter if she has children he just wants a black female so you, this past weekend, you came across, this was something happening to more than one black male, and you said it, it hurt your feelings. And you saying that all this negativity that men like this will start to gravitate towards you know who, and it's just so much negativity, but... If you look at it from this perspective, if I'm 25 years old and every female I come across, and I will say every female that I come across, and let's just say the number is 500 in, in my, life, my lifespan of 25 years. So 500 females in 25 years. If they all reject me and they're black, it's safe to say that all black females inside of my realm don't care for me. And that will affect anyone's psyche. Now, this guy's a little bit younger than me and you, and he doesn't really know about his body or doesn't want his body to be a certain way. Well, I mean, hit the gym. I, what I'm seeing is a epidemic of young guys who don't get no muscle structure. They look very frail. Like Chris Brown to me looks like a boy. He doesn't look like he hit puberty. Trey Songs to me, I mean, he still looks like a girl. I mean, if I had some serious trouble, I couldn't call Trey to have my back. I mean, he might sing a little tune. I would call R. Kelly. You know, men today have been I'm not sure what they mean. I mean, they're they're not as masculine as men of our generation. You know, there there are more men out there that resemble Prince than Mr. T. And you talk about Denzel Washington and Wesley Snipes being like sex symbols in Hollywood, but you're, you're missing a point. That's not what's being pumped in Hollywood today. What's being pumped is uh, Chris Brown. What's being pumped is Trey Songs. What's being pumped is a light-skinned, bad boy, R&B type thug. So if you are darker skin, you could clearly feel inferior and I'm surprised that you never knew guys go through this 
I mean, I, I find that a little bit sh shocking because you said, you know, you had to open your mind because you never knew men dealt with these issues. I mean, the black versus light skin issue plays across both genders, black and, um, I mean, excuse me, male and female being light skin and dark skin, you know. But the interesting thing is you said that you opened your mind. So that's saying that your mind was closed. And if your mind was closed, like I said in my first video towards you, I said that I feel you are picking and choosing what you want to hear. You pick and you choose. Instead of looking at the whole structure. And that's what I was trying to explain to you about Tommy Sotomayor. If you take 5 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds and listen to it, you'll say, oh my God, this guy is crazy. But if you listen to the structure, the whole arc, the story of what he is painting, you will clearly see that what he is saying is not too far-fetched and it's not off the wall. And you said that, you know, people are going to gravitate towards him. I'm not going to say people are going to say, well, I'm upset with black women. I'm going to listen to another guy's upset. No, our stories are relatable. They're very relatable because everything you have talked about in this video, I have experienced where I was not able to get females and I had issues about myself. And even though I always had a decent body, I always had a little bit of athleticism. Um, I just was not able to keep up with Tyrone, Ray Ray, and all the other foolish individuals who, uh, was selling on the corner who was getting girls pregnant. I mean, it's a little bit crazy to sit back and think that this is what beats out the educated black male. And I also said that in my last video as well, how the educated male is victim to the thug, the R&B thug, or the wannabe thug, or, or the guy who's sagging his pants. And you, we want to sit back and not blame the black female. But if the black female is choosing the thug over the proper male or the male that's going to have long-term success, well, what do we sit there and blame it on? Well, then we have to say, well, does the black female who picks these little boys have a male inside her house? And if there is no male inside the house, well, then we see what the problem is. And if there is a male, then you know what? She just wants to go against the system. And then she's fucked when she realized she's 30 and she has a child by a man who was never going to be shit. But she thought it was cute in her early 20s. You know, another interesting point that I just wanted to, to, to bring out to you is this. That same black men or let's say other black men they're going to get to a certain point where they're going to stop trying they're they're no longer going to try to talk to black females they'll get that degree and then they will start working and it usually happens like this the white female the asian female or the black girl's enemy the Hispanic female comes along, starts talking to the nice black guy, and they hook up. The black male doesn't understand why is this woman hitting on me because I'm an ugly, grotesque monster. Why do you want to be with me? And it's kind of like a beauty and a beast type of story. And he's going to love her. He's going to fall in love with his first Becky, his first Mary, his first Susie. His first Ivy, his first Chan, or his first Patricia, Estella, Maria. And he never looks back on the black female. Because of all the females in his life at that period, 
never gave him an opportunity. Never gave him an opportunity. Or he sits back and sees he can get any of those three females. And when he sees the caliber of the black female, he's going to say, why do I want to degrade myself? Why do I want to take all this stuff I have worked so hard for to be with a female who's not on my level? And then when he comes across a black female that's on his level, there is always an ego thing going back and forth, back and forth. And he's like, why? 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 And he moves on of his life. So the educated black male does not get with the educated black female, which is the perfect couple. Because she has her idea that she wants Obama. Or men representing Obama, which is only 10% of black men. And she's not going to settle, so she's going to die by herself. And the average black girl who, you know, she, she can be of a decent man. They're so far and rare. It's like finding a hope diamond or a black diamond or just something just so phenomenal that it just doesn't happen. And then it's just going to be all the EBT Section 8 uh, hood rat females who are going to hit on him. He's like, no, I'm not going to waste my time. And then he's going to stick with white America, Asian America, or Hispanic America. And that's the cycle. And if black men keep doing this, black females will only reproduce with the thugs, the low lights, or the guys who jump from one to the next, the down low. And they don't really care as long as they're getting in a nice tight hole. They don't care about the message. They don't care about education. The only thing they care about is where they can lay their head for that day, how much drugs they can move, and getting that next piece of ass. And that's what you're left with. And those guys are unreachable. Because they make more money than I make in three days. You know, I'll make about 1200 a week. They'll see that in less than three days, give or take. So they easily make 24 a week, tax-free. But they will go to jail. That's that's promise. They will get molested or fucked or raped, which is promise. And most likely they might end up with something and then come back to you. And the cycle keeps going on and on and on. So where you were the prime picking, you just gave that all the way to a worthless piece of shit because... There was no decent male inside of the house. So when does the cycle end of females raising the bar so that all men, thugs, educated, will say, okay, for me to get with this woman, I have to have A, B, and C. Because when I was coming up, because I'm only two years younger than you. When I was coming up, females wanted you to have education. They wanted you to have your own car. They wanted you to have your own place. Now... What I see is as long as you can stand, you, you, the females are just happy. You know, you don't got to comb your hair or, or put any lotion on. You, you know, fuck ironing your clothes. I mean, I, I feel like if I was just seven years younger, I would be a different individual. I probably would have about 50 children because these women today have no standards. And the women that do have standards, they're unattainable. And this is my spin.